Good afternoon, everyone. It's me, NYSE Einstein from the Florida New York Stock Exchange, August 23rd. Definitely dog days of summer as far as that goes, but surely no shortage of wild and woolly headlines coming across the tape that are actually having not much of an effect on this market. I rarely will talk politics, but it's important to note that our president, not my president, our president, did come out today with all the headlines and news coming out about collusion, impeachment, and whatnot, and did say in an interview with Fox News this morning that if you guys impeach me, this market will crash and you'll all be poor. Need I say, I kind of don't follow that posture. As I often talk about, the market is up. It's up, up, and away, and it's up super solid across the board because of low interest rates slowly rising low interest rates into a strong economy, low unemployment, super solid corporate earnings, great guidance in a marketplace and economy that's doing really well. That's why it's up. Tax reform, definitely a factor. Some of the things Mr. Trump installed for sure, a benefit as far as regulation and whatnot. At the end of the day, we've been told that if he became president, we would be down a thousand. That did not happen. We thought that if North Korea had a problem and we were going to war with them, that that would be a problem. It did not happen. That if Brexit went through, that that would be a problem. It did not happen. So we've had multiple, multiple opportunities for anxiety and sell-offs in this market over the last virtually two year, year and a half. And every one of these emotional headline-driven sell-offs has been a buying opportunity. I tell it to you on a daily basis, I'm not recommending anything. I'm just saying that emotional headline selling, that the smart money buying has been the way to analyze the historic data that we've been able to come up with over the last 18 months. Every sell side has been a buying opportunity. Every sell side has been rebuffed by a much stronger rally. Every sell side has been an emotional short-term sell-off rebuffed by a significant rally. We're trading right off the tops. Yes, the market's down 70 points, probably hindered by a little bit of a Boeing, Alibaba, and uh, a couple of stocks in particular. The Russell off five, the S&P off five, and a market that's been on fire, these are insignificant blips in the radar. Transport's off six. Route, we had a little bit of a turnaround in oil. Aramco deal on the table, off the table. There's so much news that we get tossed around, tossed at, thrown at information. It goes out, comes back, runs around. It marinates for a while. But at the end of the day, if you analyze what's going on in this market, there's money coming into this market. Sell sides are rebuffed by solid buying opportunities. Corporate earnings have been 75% in and they're all beating. Guidance has been solid. Tariff and trade war fears are not as bad as they thought. Mexico NAFTA deal could be on the table. At the end of the day, things are good. You gotta be in it to win it. Stay with it, in my opinion. Clearly, there will be uncertainty, there will be anxiety if anything happens in a major shakeup in the White House. No question about it. But it doesn't change the fundamentals of this market. It doesn't change why this market is up by any means, I believe. A short-term sell-off could be a couple thousand points. That's possible. But an actual crash into a market that's been up on solid fundamentals, I kind of disagree with. But it's a nice threat. It's a bit of a bullying in my opinion. But anyway, all that being said, it is Thursday. We're coming into the end. We got the last week coming up next week of August. Hoping the volume picks up. Today was super light, 620. Markets can be moved in light volume days in a big way. We saw the market flatline in the afternoon, sell off a little bit on some sell side imbalances that came in. The market's been cooperative for me. So I'm happy. I'm tired, a long day. I'm going home. I love you all. Have some schnapps, a little white wine, a little schnitzel, and I love you. I'll see you all tomorrow. Giddy up.